Helion's mission is to build and deploy low-cost electricity for the whole world. We already have a machine that runs every day that does fusion. The visionary CEO behind ChatGPT has changed the world over the last six months with the release of ChatGPT. Not content with revolutionizing AI technology, Sam Altman has now set their sights on the energy sector with a massive release that is set to change everything. The energy sector is a vital part of the global economy and society, but it is under pressure to transition from fossil fuels to more sustainable energy sources. This is where Sam Altman's company has developed a groundbreaking new way to access the immense power of nuclear without the harmful waste and dangers associated with nuclear energy. Join us as we take a look at the ChatGPT CEO's new nuclear fusion reactor that could change everything. Now before we go into details, it's important to know something about Sam Altman, who he is, and did he change the world not once, but two times in 2023 already? Sam was born in Chicago, Illinois, and dropped out of Stanford University to co-found a location-based social networking startup called Looped. The company received funding from Y Combinator and went on to become one of the early successors in the mobile app industry. In 2012, Altman sold Looped to Green Dot Corporation for $43.4 million dollars. After the acquisition, Altman joined Y Combinator as a full-time partner, where he gained some of the most valuable experience in his career. Y Combinator is one of the world's most successful startup incubators, providing seed funding and mentorship to early-stage companies. Think of it like a super school for startup founders. Y Combinator picks them up when they have an early idea, provides the funding, and plays a crucial role in sharing the growth and success of some of the world's biggest startups, like Airbnb. Dropbox, Reddit, and DoorDash. During this time, he worked with thousands of companies and honed the skills of seeing when a company was on to something or destined to fail. He then became obsessed with working on big problems that were almost impossible to achieve. Solving artificial intelligence was thought to be only possible in Hollywood movies until he did the impossible and cracked the code of AI. Much like Elon Musk with Tesla and SpaceX, Sam saw a huge opportunity in other sectors, and now he is seamlessly solved the impossible, again with his company Halion. Halion is a clean energy company focused on nuclear fusion technology. Nuclear fusion is a new way of accessing nuclear power with benefits like being safe and controllable, very cheap to produce, it is environmentally friendly, it doesn't create harmful waste, and it has an abundant and accessible fuel source. Halion Energy was founded in 2013 and is focused on building nuclear fusion reactors. Nuclear fusion is a process where two Two small atoms, usually hydrogen atoms, join together to make a bigger atom. And when these atoms join, they release a lot of energy. It is the same unlimited energy source that powers the sun in our solar system. And Halion has a mission to recreate the process on Earth in a controlled way. It's like a special Lego set where scientists try to bring the small atoms close enough together and make them join, just like how they do naturally in the sun. Now, by doing this, they will harness a tremendous amount of energy, potentially replacing fossil fuels. It's important to understand that nuclear fusion and nuclear fission sound similar but are very different. Unlike nuclear fission, which is the process used in current nuclear power plants, fusion doesn't produce dangerous waste or emit harmful gases. It's a very promising technology because it can provide a nearly limitless supply of energy using materials that are abundant on Earth. However, building a nuclear fusion reactor is quite challenging because the atoms need to be extremely hot and and under high pressure to join together. Hellion Energy is dedicated to ushering in a new era of zero carbon electricity through fusion. Now, over the past decade, the company has been actively advancing its fusion technology. They have successfully constructed six functional prototypes, making notable progress in their research and development efforts. Helion Energy achieved a significant milestone with their sixth fusion prototype, where they became the first private fusion company to reach plasma temperatures of 100 million degrees. This breakthrough demonstrates the company's ability to create and sustain the extreme conditions required for fusion reactions. Currently, Elion Energy is in the process of building its seventh fusion prototype. This latest iteration is expected to showcase the capability of generating electricity using fusion technology. The company aims to achieve this milestone in 2024, signaling a significant step forward in its quest to harness fusion power as a clean and sustainable energy source. And now, in a groundbreaking 
development, Microsoft has recently entered into an astonishing agreement with Helion Energy. The agreement entails Microsoft purchasing electricity from Helion Energy starting in the year 2028. This marks the first ever deal of its kind where a fusion company has successfully negotiated to sell electricity. Fusion has long been hailed as the holy grail of clean energy due to its limitless and environmentally friendly nature. However, achieving practical fusion power has remained an elusive goal for scientists and engineers over the years. As the global response to climate change has intensified, there has been a growing sense of urgency to find sustainable solutions. This has prompted substantial investments, totaling approximately $5 billion into private fusion companies. Now, these companies are dedicated to transforming the concept of fusion power into a viable source of electricity capable of meeting the world's energy needs. According to Andrew Holland, the CEO of the Fusion Industry Association, this is the first time that I know of that a company has a power purchase agreement signed. Holland told CNBC, no one has delivered electricity and Helion's goal of 2028 is aggressive, but they have a strong plan for how to get there. As part of the power purchase agreement between Helion Energy and Microsoft, Helion has committed to having its fusion generation device online and operational by the year 2028. Within a specified one-year ramp-up period following the device's activation, Helion aims to reach its target power generation of 50 megawatts or more. And when the fusion device is fully operational and producing 50 megawatts of energy, it will have the capacity to power approximately 40,000 homes in Washington state. This is an estimate of the number of homes that can benefit from the electricity generated by the fusion device. While the initial agreement with Microsoft is for 50 megawatts of electricity, Helion Energy has a broader goal in mind. The company aspires to eventually achieve a gigawatt of electricity production, which amounts to 1 billion watts or 20 times the 50 megawatts they are selling to Microsoft. In terms of payment, Microsoft will compensate Helion for the megawatt hours of electricity delivered to the grid. This means that Microsoft will pay for the actual amount of electricity generated by Helion's fusion device as it is supplied to the grid and consumed by users. The most widely recognized method for achieving commercial fusion power involves a donut-shaped device called Tokamak. The Tokamak technology is being used in the construction of the International Fusion Project, known as ITER in southern France. Additionally, Commonwealth Fusion Systems, CFS, a fusion startup that originated from MIT and has received over $2 billion in funding, is also utilizing Tokamak technology. CFS aims to have its first power plant connected to the grid and sell electricity in the early 2030s. In contrast, Helion Energy is taking a different approach. Instead of building a Tokamak, they are developing a long and narrow device known as a field reversed configuration. In simple terms, Helion's approach involves shooting plasma, which is the fourth state of the matter after solid, liquid, and gas from both ends of the device at speeds exceeding 1 million miles per hour. The collision of these two streams creates a super hot and dense plasma where fusion reactions occur. Helion Energy has achieved energy generation with its fusion prototypes. However, the company has not yet developed a device that generates more electricity than it consumes to operate the fusion system. In response to skepticism about this, Altman says, there were a lot of people that were doubting AI six months ago too. Now, Altman acknowledges the remaining hurdles, such as reducing costs and achieving large-scale manufacturing, but he expresses confidence in the fundamental physics of Helion's approach. He believes that skepticism is natural, but the best way to address it is by demonstrating successful commercial implementation, which is precisely what the power purchase agreement with Microsoft aims to achieve. Helion Energy has been successfully addressing key challenges in its fusion research. Firstly, the company has started manufacturing its own capacitors, which are highly efficient energy storage devices and a significant cost factor for Helion. Additionally, Helion has made progress in producing a rare fuel called Helium-3, which is an essential component in their fusion process. Previously, they relied on obtaining Helium-3 from the strategic reserves of the U.S. government. Now, moving forward, Helion's next focus is to demonstrate the long-term reliability of its fusion devices. To achieve this, they have dedicated a team to ensure the durability of the components used in their devices. If Helion can achieve success in these areas, it will mark a significant milestone, not only for the company, but for the entire fusion industry. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.